Hey guys, today we have a really cool drill and I promise it's going to get you really tired. Um, the idea behind this drill is actually working on your handling of catching the ball both straight to you, to the ground, and to your basket. Just like when we were looking on how to catch. Also, we're going to be doing a lot of movement from side to side, from shuffling, sometimes to diving. That's actually going to get you very tired. This is a very good thing because we're going to see, once you get tired, you're going to see what happens to you, what happens to your technique. Uh, it pretty much goes out the window once you start getting start breathing hard you're gonna start letting balls go through your hands that's the moment you have to tell yourself I'm tired I have to do everything correct by finding out your threshold by getting tired in practice you're gonna find out what you really need to work on because even when you're tired something that you're easily that you can easily do you're still gonna be able to do it now when I get tired my low balls are my problem I can't get to the ground because my legs are just dead so I know that I need low ball practice so I continue to move uh, give me some shimmies move to the side and then next thing I know I'm asking my shooters to take shots on the ground just so I can continue getting lower and lower and lower this is killer killer practice it was really fun but it definitely left me breathing hard I mean I just got back and I'm dead drill is three cones three soccer balls and hopefully three shooters if not you can do with two I did this one with two it, uh, it's a little choppy because you need to um, you want to have a certain flow but do the best with what you can uh, from that you're gonna start in the middle and you're going to go from your left to your right to each cone the cones are set up almost in the diamond formation except the middle uh, is actually your goal line we're gonna start by running to the left cone then running to the right co uh, the middle cone and then to the right cone every time we either want to catch at the cone or do a dive towards the cone let your shooters decide this you are reacting you're supposed to be moving let the shooters decide where they're going to go with the ball the whole idea is to keep you moving and keep you reacting to every single shot so let's take a good look at the drill even if you get tired take a 30 second break but give every single time you get out to the pitch and get out in front of these shots a hundred percent run every single second you need to get tired, you need to see what's going on when, when you're having trouble, when you're having trouble breathing. This is also a great drill for shuffling. You should never be running or stepping over your own legs. It should always be a shuffle, keeping your chest towards the shooter and towards the ball. Shuffling is going to keep you in the keeper ready position at all times, even while you're standing. It's also going to give you a faster reaction if the ball ever has a deflection. That's why when you run and you actually step over your foot, if there's a deflection and the ball goes to the left way, your legs are going to be tangled. You're not going to be able to get to that ball. Always remember, when you're in goal, you're shuffling. And if you really want a good workout, get some micro balls. Very small balls are going to make it a lot harder to catch and a lot harder to react to. That's going to give you that extra edge for catching the much larger balls. The only time I should see you doing a step over is when you're looking over your shoulder and trying to react to a chip shot or running back to a shot that has been shot over you. Uh, we're going to cover this in the next section. On top of that, we're going to end it with a nice, a nice chip drill. Uh, this one is actually the most painful of them all. I need you to be able to run to, the, uh, to your forward or striker, tap the ball, and then run backwards back pedaling. I do not want to see a goalkeeper turn his back to a striker and run towards goal. That will not ever work and you will let that ball in the goal. You need to work on a back pedal where you actually look over, you drop a shoulder and you look over it and you're actually stepping over your, your hands, or I'm sorry, your legs. You're stepping over your legs and you're letting your top hand go over every time so you can parry it over the bar. This is gonna help a lot if you ever get caught outside of uh, your position and you see a ball get chipped, you need to run back. That's the correct way to do it and that's the correct way to parry it. Hey guys, thanks for watching. This was Alberto and I'll see you guys again next week.